Ladies and gentlemen, final phases, here we go. Put your masks on, let's get some coating on this beautiful table. I did three coats on the top, slightly glossy and beautiful. These legs are just gonna be shiny. I don't want them to be this shiny, but I gotta cover up the smell. I don't know if polyurethane will truly cover everything up from what I've read about this tar. This isn't a railroad tie, you know, that's really, really soaked. Had some applied to it at some point. It seeps its way out. Two more coats and let it dry and this thing is done. Guys, uh, this is the last final steps. Can you believe it? Look how good the knots look. Look how good the table top looks. You know, you could run your arm across it. You're, you're not gonna get any, you know, scrapes and cuts and it's everything is smooth. Uh, it just looks incredible. Gotta have my snacks. What are we doing today? We're doing wood. We're doing wood? We're doing wood. I would have uploaded this video sooner, but as y'all know, as y'all have helped with, there's been some toxicity within the table and there's been, a, there's been a lot of chatter down there in the comments. Keep the legs, don't keep the legs. Keep those legs, they're so cool. Don't keep those legs, they're toxic, man. Intermittently, we have another project going on. There's a really cool woodsman-y cabinet thing that OSG has found and we were gonna go pick it up. But once we get that cabinet, we're gonna come back, and we're gonna take a hard gander at these legs. So we got it loaded in here. The only problem is that one is super tall. It just looks like it belongs in the tree house, don't it? It does. But I don't wanna damage this when I crinkle them together. So LFD had some Crocs inside of his truck. I think that's probably the best thing these Crocs can be used for. Put one of these on each side be good to go honey see <laughs> resourceful well, I'm glad that you have those crocs because you're not wearing them Mimi is here Mimi is her official grandma name yes, and we're we're paying her in food I'm in the truck, mama. I'm not gonna hit it Mimi is it gonna rain I don't let's look at the is. Doppler I have to work on my table so I'll be out here so if it starts dropping I'm gonna need you to kick it into extreme mode and help me move it. Well, I think she's going home after this. So, well, if that's <laughs> gonna be the situation. The question is, where are all your buddies? <laughs> where, are, where are your male compadres? They're all in the woods and on the water, <laughs> as they should be. Not moving furniture, getting ready to have babies. Yeah. This is, this is a total, this is on me. I'm sorry. I did this to myself. <laughs> you did. This was the big dilemma. I put about four coats on the top. It was three or four coats on the top. I did an extra few on the legs, just thinking that that would entrap that tar. But what ended up happening is because we had just cut in the wood a few days before, it was fresh, and then it started heating up in the Texas heat. You know, it was like 100 degrees every day. That stuff started oozing out. This has been a super long process for me to dry the table legs off enough that stuff is not coming out anymore. I actually went as far as to go with a blowtorch. I lit it up and I burned a lot of this stuff off the ends where it was coming out the most. I know you're not supposed to do that. That turns it toxic. You're not supposed to saw into it. You're not supposed to burn it. Uh, I was wearing masks and protective gloves and eyewear and everything. Now I know this isn't smell-o-vision, but I will tell you the days that I put this in my office, we're talking weeks ago, and I let it just sit there, I could not, I couldn't even stand. I was getting sick. It was making me like dizzy. Now I can tell you with confidence that this table is not going to have that nausea smell anymore. I've had it inside of my office for three or four days now with no poly on top or the bottom. 
and I even burned some off the legs and I don't have that noxious smell. I pretty much dried it out like a raisin and now it's ready to have some poly put on top of it where I think as before, it wasn't ready. If this was my, my kid's play table, I probably would have chopped the legs off, but because listening to all your comments, I don't feel that bad about it. We are going to keep the legs. Please, little polyurethane can finish these legs off to where there's no smell and will keep my skin and organs safe. Amen. Well, it's looking good, man. Rotate out here. I'm gonna come in this way. OSG's here, so, okay. Let's impress. Let's barely pick up. All right. We're just gonna do shuffles. Watch your salsa. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we got, can you clear the fan? You're good. You're as long as you get clearance, go begin the slot. I'm, I'm over. Oh, got it in the front. We're just gonna slide it back. <laughs> Madison, three pigs. Hey! Woo! That was so bad. I came at the last minute. <laughs> Code number two. A little bit of brushment on this one just to get in the cracks. Fill the gaps. Yes. Well, pretty much the whole can of this general finish high performance water based top coat satin polyurethane, which was $27. A jug. It's gone. There's just a little bit which I'm saving. To brush on in the deep cracks and then also on the very bottom of the legs hopefully it's gonna seal it in we've given it many hours and it is about to rain so we're gonna have to move it into the garage osg coming big in. and beautiful coming at me to help <laughs> love you darla oh she's dropped i've put the polyurethane come back here we were, oh, we sorry. were i was interviewing you <laughs> It's gonna be cool. To move. It Any looks pretty in? thick. It does look pretty thick. Okay, it's not the. It's not gonna be the smoothest because I just had to lather it on there. It's OSG approved right now. Have you like kept track of how many coats you put on here? Oh, it's a whole can. There is thirty dollars worth of polyurethane on there right now. Well, that makes me feel better, <sighs> knowing that this brain is not being absorbed with all the creasel. I, I don't know how you say it. I, I want to say creatine. Uh, <laughs> what's that stuff we had tonight? Creole seasoning, something oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. I, I don't know. My brain's so messed up, I don't think it's gonna affect it anyway, but I just don't want it affecting you. Let's let this thing dry. We're gonna look at the beauty. The rain has subsided, and I know I've said this many times, but we are on the last phases of this thing. So many lessons have been learned. Woodcraft, building tables, the types of wood that are involved, and the treated wood. Dealing with this treated wood to make these table legs work where I feel comfortable has been a nightmare. The reason I wanted to make it work is because all that wood was from the same group, from the same barn, has a historical reference to it, which I think is awesome. So what did I have to do to feel confident in this table being okay? Well, first of all, I had to let that wood dry out forever. And then I had to burn some of those chemicals off, which was dangerous. And then I had to let it dry out some more. And I felt good with the top, but when I flipped it over, phew, Smell was coming out, so I had to sand that down. And then I went with wood glue to fill in a lot of those cracks, let that wood glue dry, and then go to an epoxy, go to a clear epoxy, fill in the cracks so that that's, that smell and that stuff is not leaking out of there. Finally, all the gaps have been filled and there's only one last thing to do. This thing to move it around my office, instead of putting some wheels, you know, that are clunky and don't look right with the old western just rustic look of this table i'm gonna add some simple felt so i can just push it around on that hardwood floor in there we finally have ourselves some dry epoxy on here and the only thing i smell is the epoxy it's 
smells like a hair salon or something like that. This is a last resort. I did not want to use this on the top of the table and if it ever, if I ever smell it coming out, I will put it on the top. But I did the extra coats of polyurethane on there and I haven't had a problem with it. But now what I'm gonna do to make things really easy, instead of putting wheels or something on the bottom, because I'm gonna be using this uh, table quite a bit, I'm going to put felt padding on the bottom. That way I can just scoot it across the hardwood floor. So I'm just gonna cut that out in accordance with the shape. much effort this table is done thank you for coming along for this journey let me just say for one of my first big wood projects it was a doozy of learning lessons going from raw wood I started out with really something probably it was over my head so it really took a lot of research it took help to get this table where it is now today and these legs y'all my goodness what a terrible thing to have to deal with after looking at such a beautiful piece of wood and then realizing it's got some nasty stuff in it i think i figured out a way to cover that the epoxy held true i could not smell it through there it does not look like it's going to leak out time will tell though i will give you guys updates on that but as the table sits now can't smell anything it looks beautiful light coat of polyurethane on top just to keep it kind of smooth you can wipe it down and it is just an awesome piece goes great in here in the man fish cave but I gotta tell you guys this is project number uno for the man fish cave studio place still got the wall that I'm working on and then the big stuff I'm gonna build storage for all my equipment uh, things like that cabinets that uh, my little daughter can't get into because daddy's expensive toys are in there and I've got another project that I haven't told you guys yet but I've already started on and it's gonna be a mixture of wood and modern technology just making an awesome piece inside of this room as well but I'm just glad to have this table over with done and a great awesome looking place to sit here and talk to you guys on the video camera. So as life goes on here on the channel, you're gonna notice more things going up on the walls and in here, got a new mic set up, got, you know, things happening here, more mounts, all good stuff inside of the Man Fish Cave Studio. Please, for the love of Pete, hit the like button on all the effort to make this table. This thing's like over a month of videoing. Never will I ever use those types of legs again. From, from here on, I'm boring deep into it. I'm going to take a syringe. I'm going to get in there and make sure there's nothing in there before I start another wood project like this. But hey, life's all about lessons, learning, moving on, learning from them, and doing your best, doing better. So thank you guys for being here. I will see you guys on the next adventure in the outdoors. I'm done with wood working for a minute. It's time to get out there on the woods and water.